Welcome to the 2023 Western Beach Race 40th anniversary edition of this historic race and day one of racing is about to get underway. And the main event for the Saturday race is the epic quad and sidecar race which is coming up right now. This year for the 40th anniversary edition of the Western Beach Race was super tough to say the least and it presented a particular challenge to the quads and the sidecars. Which meant that we saw a few surprises along the way in this three hour extravaganza on the beach. And history was made in the quads and sidecar class in front of a bumper crowd here at Western Superbear. sidecar class it was once again the team of David Williams and William Green taking the win on the three-wheeled machine they rode a superb race charging from the off managing their way through the carnage on the first lap and putting in some fast laps early on to run away with the race lead in the sidecar class they added another title to their tally and a well-earned victory it was Ollie Sansom was the first solo race quad across the finish line he played it smart early on, working his way through the carnage and the mayhem on the first lap safely. And then he was able to charge on through to take a well-earned and emotional victory here at the 40th anniversary edition of the Western Beach Race. Words can't describe it, we've been chasing this dream for years. Best race you could ever win in, in the UK as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. The, the best feeling ever winning the first British Championship at the ACU in the race. And then, but, but always childhood dream to win Western. Um, and we've it's finally come reality. I can't thank my, you know, my dad, Cromwell Trucks, mechanic Matt Jones and Tony Dibley. All my sponsors, PP Suspension, and, and my missus for all their support. Um, it means so much, and um, you know, cherish the memories forever, I suppose. I did get stuck about three laps to go, and I thought it was all over. Um, managed to get the bike out, you know, um, and then, um, yeah, man, just, I can't believe it's happened. Brilliant. A lot of training got into it, but it's a nice start off to the sand season, so I'm really happy with my result. But the man of the moment in the quad class was Steve Atkins. Atkins on his 4x4 machine led the way early on, smashing his way through the tough and technical course to set the pace and lead from the front. With his stellar performance on Saturday, Atkins became the first man in the 40-year history of the Western Beach Race to win the quad race outright on a 4x4 machine. Been trying for 19 years. Brad eventually got there. That's all I can say really. I knew the track was quite tough to start with. So I just held back for a little while to see who was coming with me and then there was no one coming so I pushed, tried to push on as hard as I could to start with. Gained a nice, comfortable lead and then, yeah, moved away. 
in the combined quad and sidecar race we saw a win in the three wheelers there for David Williams and William Green. The two man quad team of Lloyd Gove and Jack Hunter took the first overall trophy in that class. The quad solo winner was Oliver Sansom and then the overall winner on the four wheel drive machine, the first ever to do it, was the mighty Steve Atkins. So yes, a massive thank you to everybody who joined us on the beach. It was an absolute blast of a weekend. I'm sure you'll agree. We look forward to doing it all again for you there in 2024 as we look forward to the next 40 years of the Western Supermare Beach Race Extravaganza.